When Brett and I were actually mission companions together, Brett and I immediately were close. We were kin. It was almost like there was an affinity from the beginning. I wouldn't call it a man crush, but we just liked each other right from the beginning. So you tend to play low. But Brett and I were on two different paths religiously. Well, first of all, we were both kind of going through a crisis of faith at the time. Cody, uh, his family had just joined the fundamentalist Mormon. And my dad married a second wife. And I was on my mission with Brett when this happened. And my crisis of faith was happening because I had been taught kind of the watered down version of mainstream Mormonism. We were only even vaguely aware that, that the original Mormons were polygamous. And what ended up happening is I ended up, you know, in, in a year's time, in a year and a half time, basically found myself becoming a Mormon fundamentalist. And so I kind of withdrew and I, I, and I saw, that as Cody kind of got closer to that, I saw that we were kind of taking completely different paths. And Brett found himself, after his mission, becoming kind of like, this Mormon thing just doesn't work. And I went totally out of the Mormon church, and totally out of religion. Uh, I absolutely don't believe in religion at all. Have I still got nothing? No, you got side control. You got side I'm tired, now. though. I got nothing left, <laughs> and I'm just resting. Ah. Yeah. You know, I think it's absolutely imperative that a spouse have friends outside of the marriage. For us, that seems even harder because Cody's time is so in demand. But we learned a long time ago, he always had these things called Testosterone Tuesday, where he would go out with his guy friends. He was always a much better husband when he would come home. There's something mentally important I think for husbands especially in our world to have to have those friends outside of marriage. You know, spending time with his friends is a way for him to recharge in a way that we can't recharge him.